All right, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, hopefully everyone had a very good weekend. I don't remember if I did a video yesterday. If I did, it was, like, really short. But, you know, I'm enjoying my break, and now it's time to get back to work. So, my content queue is, you know, finally starting to get worked down quite a bit. I still have to do a video on Ape Universe, because that's actually uh, launching pretty soon. Um, Eris Finance is getting pushed back to February 25th. Uh, so, you know, they're going to do... That is a... <coughs> excuse me. That is a pink sale... I think so yeah so we don't have to worry about that and there's a max buy of one Binance coin anyway so anyway I figure uh, you know it's been a while since uh, you know Kenniverse has been in a crazy crazy little loop so I'm just gonna try to do a quick video on this because right now I think you can't sell any so I figure there might be a lot of FUD well that being said GRG has you know proven himself right and we and I, I personally invited him into the elite discord though he doesn't really say anything I guess he's always just busy which is just fine. And uh, it turns out that apparently Zeus Finance has rug pulled. Because that asshole, the guy that was running it, was actually in our Elite Discord too. So like everyone, and then even like a lot of the veteran members in the Discord just got like fucking scammed. So it's like, man, who can you trust? It's like, well, I know what you can trust, right? A project that goes live. So again, that's why, you know... Like, I'm, I'm still relatively new to co uh, covering all these Tomb Forks. I mean, now they, they just seem to be popping up everywhere. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to grow my channel, right? So I'm still learning and evolving, trying to figure out, like, how do I really want to cover projects, all right? And apparently an old project, too. Funny enough, it was also known as God Staking or Zeus or whatever. Apparently they eventually pulled, too, or something. I have, like, assholes from, like, well, I guess now several weeks ago just accusing me of pushing scams or something. It's like, dude, it's from several months ago. It's like, you know, I don't keep track of all this shit. I put it out there, you decide to do your own thing. Or I don't fucking come at me, all right? You know? I still try my best, but at the end of the day, I, as I always say, treat every project, project you go into as a, as a rug pull, all right? And then work backwards from there. You know, if you're too stupid and lazy to do that, then you shouldn't be uh, doing any of this stuff. In fact, just unsubscribe and then go the fuck away. All right, go get killed in the stock markets, the banksters, the Russia, Ukraine, you know, stock market shock that keeps happening because everyone's so paranoid about, you know, World War Three, Or then just put your money uh, in your bank account and then just lose all your money in inflation and whatever, you know, just get the fuck out, you know. So, you know, you're just too stupid to follow me. And not surprisingly, it's always uh, certain types of, well, I better not keep going off, right, because, you know. It, but let's just say... You know, Asians and white people are not the ones screaming at me about this shit, all right? Because they know better, all right? So, but whatever. It's only like a very small fraction. At least the asshole didn't download that video. Well, I don't know. Maybe he did. I don't know. It's like so long ago, so I didn't really bother checking. But yeah, I, I think I now remember God Staking, too. It's like, yeah, it was like, what, God Staking XYZ or something? Yeah, it was like a Titano fork. The devs were very responsive. Uh, so I don't know what happened, but apparently they they, they they just went poofed. I don't know. We'll see. But if anyone's even still on that thing, I guess they could just let me know in the comments and just give me an up, give us an update. I'll also pin your comment. Assuming, of course, you don't accuse me of being an asshole, in which case I block you from ever commenting on my YouTube again. And I delete all your shit. All right. So, yeah. But anyway, that being uh, said, uh, there's a lot of FUD. Right, because I know people have actually are kind of interested, but it's like Gregor Manor, you know, says, right? It's just FUD, it's all coordinated, it's all the central banks. You're stupid if you believe the news cycle, all right? You know, you watch people like me, or maybe Dow King, or, or especially Greg Manorino, and they tell you what the real deal is. Though I think it's Greg and I know more about the overall thing, because I don't know if Dow King talks about like global stuff on his videos. But yeah, it's just like what I just look, just like what Greg and I thought was gonna happen, right? It's just FUD, fear and FUD, World War Three, we're all gonna die, kind of thing, and then the markets dip, and now rich people in the central banks are buying up crypto again, to like back up, right? Look over here, right? Stock future, well now it's live, so yeah, stocks have already recovered a little. Look at this giant red dips, right? There are people like FUD, we gotta go crisis to crisis to crisis, and look at crude oil, so. Now that they're hyper-pumping crude oil, 
There's uh, Greg's been saying recently, the past couple days, especially today's video, that there's going to be a global energy crisis. So that's the next thing. Oh, well, yeah, look at that. We went from fear trade to people buying bonds to dumping bonds now, and they're going back into the markets and into crypto, as we could see. So it's the same old, same old bullshit, you know. It, it just never ends. By the way, where is that tweet? I also should close that. And Snowy Owl has been doing really well. So, I mean, we all keep thinking it's going to crash, and it does, and it just pops right back up. Hey, I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, the daily APR is now like 41%, right? Yesterday it was up to like 100 Hundred or hundred fifty percent was going up all over the place, but hey, you know I I'm actually in, in pure profit now for snow snowy owl. It's it's actually insane because it's been buying so much shit, and the best part is because it's paired to Joe tokens, it's essentially a stable coin farming pair. I love it, and there's like so much crazy shit going on. So, oh boy, can I make this image a lot larger? Uh, well, my camera still kind of covers it. Uh, but all of that being said, I thought, you know, you guys could use a quick update. It's the same old bullshit, right? So I'm buying, Greg's buying, the central banks are buying, and believe it or not, you should be buying too. And again, that's why we like Yield Wolf, because it does all that for you, and auto compounds like clockwork. So, you know, it, it makes it very easy to take profit every day. You don't have to really, you know, do that much, right? Just, just, just wait a few days or a couple of weeks. And go in my case i pull every 24 hours and i wait till like nighttime all right because that's when the network because right now the networks are congested because new york city is awake obviously east coast of the united states is awake and in fact the rest of the america is also awake so everyone's just using the network so good luck you know getting cheap fees all right so i just wait till like nighttime and then everyone's asleep or playing games or whatever and then that's when the network is at its lowest fees now, sometimes during evening for us, it gets a little more hectic because Asia is now waking up and doing their thing. So, again, I, if I wait till like, you know, midnight my time, 11, 10, 9 p.m. my time, right? It's not that bad, all right? Basically, we get minimal fees. All right, so with that being said, it's been a while since we did Caniverse. It did really well, and then it just kind of crashed with everything else, all right? But it got hard, hit harder than everything else. So I think what really happened was basically there was just some things that Georgie didn't take into consideration. So it could not get on coin market cap. That's actually important. You need the free marketing. And really, you really need that seal of approval. Uh, I don't know if they're on coin gecko, but the thing is, because of the node system where you couldn't sell unless you know it in, coin market caps like we can't sell your token, so we can't list your price or your token. So we have to reject your application. So it's like all a million different problems. And I'm glad that he's recognized it. So that's why he has to migrate to a version 2 contract. Uh, and I believe he has to do that because obviously he has renounced the contract, I think. Or otherwise he would just edit the contract, right? So anyway, why? There are too many problems with the current contract, such as distribution, timer. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. The distribution and timer is, just, is always screwed up. The auto compound doesn't work apparently. I didn't even know there was an auto compound. I've been manually compounding all my dumb shit. And other functions that, um... oh, you know what? I can move my dumb camera temporarily. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Just like Forsen, he's got to always like move his shit around, right? The camera, so chat can see it and I can see it. Then the game that is. And other functions that can't control as clearly as we would like with the current contract. How? We will proceed with the one-to-one -one migration. Each address will be given the exact amount of its total known value and its accumulated tokens in the wallet. Damn, so perfect. We will wait we will wait to until the last moment to transfer the liquidity pool starting on Tuesday twenty oh oh twenty how do you pronounce this? O twenty hundred PM UTC. So that's fifteen hundred PM for my time, New York City. So this is three o'clock. This is three PM Eastern. All trades will be blocked for buying and selling. We will take these measures to safeguard the sustainability of the project. Oh, okay. So maybe you can buy and sell right now. I mean, it's actually pretty cheap. So. But I, I, I already feel like I already have, I already, I'm already, I already got back my initial principal plus a lot of extra, well, not a lot of extra profit, but I pulled something. I, I know I pulled out profits, so, and I've also been compounding too, so, yeah. I'm just going to keep compounding my SeaWorld because obviously 
you know, this is going to be good. Also, because as you'll read in the... I already read this, obviously, but as you'll soon see, I'm definitely going to compound. Uh, but because I need money, I'm not going to invest... I mean, the problem is SeaWorld's really cheap, so I wouldn't mind picking up some more, believe it or not. But fun, it's like I've been riding my the red line financially for too long because I've been buying up all these projects. So, you know, I'm just going to compound this for me personally and then just pull out the cash. Especially now because crypto, yeah... Right now, shit is being manipulated in the open market, so shit's going to keep going up and down like crazy like it is doing now. So I'd rather just have cash. Because, you know, I don't like holding cash, but I kind of have to because, you know, you got to pay bills. Uh, I got to replenish that bank account because it's basically running on empty. You will be able to... Wait. Uh, oh, I skipped the line. As soon as the new contract... I wish... I, I mean, this is an image, so I can't highlight it for you guys. So you just have to try to listen and follow along. Deployed every when the new contracts deployed everyone will have their respective nodes and tokens securely in their wallet uh, We will not empty the liquidity pool until the new contract is deployed. I'm adding some extra words You will be able to claim a compound despite the barring of trades The rewards will be distributed as normal up until version 2. We will do a snapshot of all nodes and token holding wallets a few moments before the launch of version 2. We will have a maximum of one week from tomorrow before... So next week, because this was posted... Um, when this was posted yesterday. So one week from tomorrow, so tomorrow became today, so next week. So sometime around March 1st. Oh, convenient. Yeah. March 1st, fresh start. So basically sometime around next week, 3 p.m. Eastern New York City time specifically for me, if I'm reading this right, and I did the math calculations correctly. We will have, uh, and the liquidity pool will be migrated. We are allowing swing trading to happen as we have learned that totally closing swing trading is not a viable method to run Canaverse. This is why... If I had extra money, I would start buying this shit up right now. Because I liked that you had to force Node in, but Ape Universe is not doing that. Even though we discussed that, that was a really good idea. Uh, and I think it's also because we realized, oh yeah, if you can't sell the token, then you can't get listed on CoinMarketCap. That's obviously a no-go, right? So now you just have a tax system. Yeah. I mean, as much as I don't like taxes, right? I mean, unfortunately, they work, right? They just suck in real life because, you know, our governments are run by evil people. But the tax system, if it's done correctly, is actually supposed to be pretty good because it punishes, you know, really rich people. It penalizes very rich people that could, like, just fuck up everything, right? So that's technically why you have to have a tax system of some kind, right? But the problem is everyone gets taxed and all the money goes back to an elite at the top. You get nothing. Or you get very little, right? You're you're struggling with two hundred eighty dollars food stamps, and well, we call it food stamps and welfare here in America. But the rest of the world, you guys don't get shit either, right? And, you, and the worst part is, you guys think you're getting something, but you're really not, right? You know. So as Greg Manorino says, there's no such thing as socialism, or I don't know if you said communism or capitalism or whatever. It's always bullshit. Because money flows in one direction, from we the people, that's you and me, at the bottom, straight to the top. It never goes any other way. It's, it's also another reason why he said the trucker rebellion is going to fail. Which, I actually agree with that, but I don't really say it that much because I don't want to cause unnecessary FUD. And I love the trucker rebellion, but yeah, it's because you're not addressing the root cause. Central banks. But I, I still would prefer that they still do what they're doing, so at least it exposes the system for what it is. Even my family you know, members. They don't fall in as political shit, but they, but they saw the Ottawa, Ottawa cops like trampling uh, protests, unarmed protesters with the horse. So everyone's seeing this bullshit and going, what the fuck, you know? So, you know, the truth is coming up. So we'll, uh, we'll see, you know, we'll try to get out of the way of the horses trying to kill us and then just get rich off of crypto. So anyway... Uh, I don't know what an MW is, so if someone can make a comment and tell me what the MW is, I, I don't know. It's like, I think Modern Warfare. 
So there's a buy tax, which is 5%. 3% of that will go to the, back to liquidity pool and 2% goes back to MW. So is that like, I can't even think. Is it reward pool, liquidity, what? So, okay, so here's the interesting thing. Under $10 per C world, I think that's what it says, taxes is 30%, split between 15% liquidity pool and 15% MW. What is MW? If you're, excuse me, if you're trying to sell t under twenty-five dollars, actually now I realize it. His tax system's a little confusing. I don't think this is taxes on top of other taxes, right? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if I sell like nine dollars worth of SeaWorld, I'm gonna get taxed thirty percent. But if I'm trying to sell like twenty-four dollars of SeaWorld, I should be getting taxed twenty-five percent. So I think that's how it works. God, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to buy and sell, you know, because you have to constantly adjust your slippage based on like <laughs> what a mess. But hey, at the end of the day, I mean, I know this will work, right? So it's it, yeah, it's a little convoluted, but. You know, Georgie is a one-man crew. I, I think it's only him coding this shit. Right? He's got his other support crew. Um, so, you know, he's doing the best that he can. So, hey, after we just found out Zeus staking. Not Zeus staking. Well, yeah, Zeus staking. But Zeus finance, Zeus prime or whatever. That asshole is in our elite discord. He, he got banned, of course. Did a rug pull. I mean, I'd rather put up with something like this, you know. Under 50 bucks per sea world. Taxes is now 20%. And if you're selling under a hundred dollars, your tax is fifteen percent. If you're trying to sell more than a hundred bucks, your tax is now ten percent. It's basically split between the liquidity pool and whatever the M MW is. And then GRG is gonna have an AMA at this time. Blah blah. blah. I'm not gonna link to it because I just never listened to him. All right. I, like only because like however I, I I need to rest. I have a lot of content, so I really don't care about doing any AMAs. I did it for Titan a while ago, but that's because <clears throat> I wasn't in Tomb Forks, so I really was looking for content. But yeah, if you if you're interested, just go. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll announce it on their Twitter over here, right? Otherwise, yeah, you should go into the Discord and then. Oh well, there you go. Tells you right here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so for me personally, Cannaverse World is already at like two dollars and forty cents. So there's no point in me pulling profit. I mean, I technically could. I I don't know if you can still spy or sell. I haven't even bothered checking. Uh, let me grab up the C World. Yeah, it's at two forty six. Copy link address. All right, let's take a look at that. Man, that snowy owl is popping off i'm so thrilled i'm so glad i'm trying to remember who told me about snowy owl is it Lorenzo, mdb or kevu shit who told me about it who told me about it but man that shit is like take kicking ass and taking names and just accumulating more and more joe tokens I'm basically accumulating free stable coins at like i'm basically farming stable coins at a 41 percent <laughs> daily apr Okay, so this thing says February 22nd, so that's right now, 9.46 a.m. So apparently you can still buy and sell. So, yeah, so if you're interested in buying this, you know, this is pretty cheap. It's actually, like, I got in at launch day pink sale, which was 90 cents to a dollar each. So, yeah. Damn. I actually want to pick up more SeaWorld, but, um, I don't know, I gotta think about it. I mean, I have seventeen dollars worth of Binance coin just sitting there doing nothing. I mean, I uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. You know, I'll let it go. Let's fuck it. You know, I'm gonna just uh, keep compounding. I mean, that's probably the better way of doing it because I keep compounding, right? You know, that's essentially like buying more Sea World tokens. So I can compound quite a bit too. So. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, Cannaverse World. Uh, again, make uh, write a, someone just write, and it doesn't matter what other people say, just a bunch of you just tell me what does MW stand for here. Like, I'm thinking it's Reward Pool, but isn't Reward Pool RP? You know, not to be confused with Role Player. So, I don't know, but whatever. I mean, it's, I guess it's not a big deal. I guess everyone else already knows it, so I'll just go 
with what everyone else is going. Uh, but I obviously know what LP is, the liquidity pool, right? That's actually the buy and sell pool, right? So I'm looking forward to it. You know, obviously, Georgie, again, to reiterate, is trying as hard as he can. And it's working out pretty well. And I can put myself back up on the upper right corner. Like, presto, pesto. My god, that is so... That is so whatever. So, is this... Yeah, I think this is the one with uh, pawns and rooks and queens or something. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, pent. Yeah. I'm not in this project, but apparently a lot of people made money off of it. I know... I uh, can't remember. You know, I don't know if you want to be telling me because it's a lot of money, but... Uh, someone in the elite Discord told us about it. And he's making a, he made a lot of money. I haven't heard from him for a while though, but he still pops in from time to time. So, all right. So I will see you in the next video. Uh, what will it be? There's Dgen Finance. I've been meaning to make a Platinum Finance video too. So I think I'll do Dgen Finance because that's a Genesis pool. Right now it's whitelist Genesis pool, so I'm not gonna. In fact, I don't think I'm gonna buy into the project at all. I'm just gonna let it do its thing and then maybe buy at the bottom if I'm interested because I'm pretty sure the daily APR not APR on it is gonna be shit because it's aiming more to be like two ohm and three ohm. That's what I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm gonna take a look, but it's just run by Tim Malcolm, so you know I I I I could feel comfortable. I mean, if Tim Malcolm rugs, he deserves to steal my money because he fooled us all, right? But I mean, you you know who Tim Malcolm is? He's fate his. He's got a YouTube channel, and I don't know how big he is, but I assume he's a really big guy. So, I mean, I mean, if you can't trust Tim Malcolm because he decides to rug pull, then it's like fucking, I don't know, man. I don't know what else to say. So, that's why I feel comfortable uh, covering D-Gen Finance. That's what he's calling it. So And he apparently has some kind of partnership or possible partnership with Harry E. So, it could potentially be big. You know, I'm going to stay out of it because, you know, I'm just big chilling. You know, and uh, again, I'm now all about yield wolfing and having very high APR. I want at least 7-8% daily APR, especially because all our crypto projects, even 2-ohm and 3-ohm and 2-shares and 3-shares, they're all down anyway. So if, I, if I'm going to be taking it up the ass with all this crazy, like, crisis to crisis to crisis bullshit that the central bankers keep doing to us and crypto keeps going down as a result, I want to get paid. I want to get paid at least. I want to be paid very well. So I'm still evolving and strategizing and whatever. And when I finally get through my content queue, you know, we can finally do that long-awaited video. All right? My personal Tomb Fork strategy. I mean, I tell you as much as I can, but it's all over the place. So, you know, we'll have a dedicated video. You know, so maybe we'll call it version one. Because technically I had a previous video, I think. But, you know, this seems like it's going to be an ongoing thing, so I should just do version 2, right? I got to try to, uh, I'll, when I get up to it, you know, God will tell me what to say and do, and then, you know, we'll, I'll pass that on to you. So, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Again, make a comment in the comments for this particular video. What is MW? All right, I'll read it and whatever. Uh, and... Yeah, I'll just see you in the next video. Oh, yeah, spread my video around. And thank you to everybody who's been subscribing, you know, all the newcomers especially. So you're in for a treat. You're very lucky that you found me. So, all right, let's keep working because I kind of want Burger King, but I really should not be eating that. Yeah, whatever.